hear what agree. Brian has to say about what happens with sunsets. I'd like to hear his explanation. I don't think I've ever heard him verbalise what happens on flat Earth for a sunset. Brian? What? What happens? I don't know, mate. I honestly don't know. I'm not going to say something I don't know. And I don't even know what the sun is, so... So why doesn't the light reach us then? Why, you know, why does it go dark? Have What's you, the reason you, for that? Have you got a theory? Well, no, that's why I'm asking you. I'm asking you on flat Earth. What, what, you know, why does it go dark? Is it because the sun just goes a, further away? I don't live on a flat Earth. Okay. So um, is it just because the sun goes further away then and the sun's rays aren't strong enough to, to reach you? This must be the little one. Um, that's a possibility, I suppose. Yeah. But then I mean, we, we all what, know if you have a torch, you can't see it in infinity, can you? It's, it will. It will run out of light at some point. Yeah, that's true. So if you was to, so let's say you had a torch and you moved it a mile away, but you could still see it, and then you moved it two miles away, you could still see it, but then you moved it twenty miles away, you couldn't see it anymore. So. It's definitely gone far enough away that you can't see it, yeah? But what happens then um, when you get your drone out is you go higher. So you don't get any nearer to the actual light source. You just go higher. But then you can actually see it again. So why is that? You've elevated your position, surely. Yeah, but you've not got any nearer to it. So if that light was not strong enough to reach you across the flat plane at 20 miles away... Why should it suddenly be strong enough to reach you now because you've just elevated yourself a few metres higher? Very simple, Ranty. When the sun is moving away, the angle is becoming more acute. Thus, the angle is getting limited and your vision is obstructed by the occultation of the relative horizon because the horizon has risen relative to eye level. Not because it literally does, it's because it has an optical effect due to the angular change. Can you see the difference in angles? The sun further away, much smaller, the horizon has risen relative to eye level compared to the closest sun when it was close to you. Then you ask, why doesn't the sun change angular size when it moves away? This is very debatable and you all know that because there are many observations done with solar filters and without solar filters where you see the angular size change as it moves away in the distance.
Ah, wasn't that great to watch? So, anti flat earthers, glow believers, you guys sit in a bit of conundrum here because I have been hearing all over that the sun does not change angular size, even though, yeah, it's demonstrated with observation, not just only by BML SB69 and DC force, there is many, many others that's also done exactly the same thing. Um, I would suggest if you do have the correct equipment with like a camera with a solar filter to go out and do this observation yourself. I mean, it's an awesome observation to take and it just affirms the flat earth more and more. I mean, what do we take out of all of this? We see the reflection that can only happen on flat surfaces. We see the angle that can only happen due to the sun moving away over a flat surface. We see twilight due to the inverse square of law of light that can only happen with the sun moving away in the distance. Well, I think that's all we really got time for today and I think I've made my point. Um, thank you very much for watching and if you're honest with yourself, you would go and do your own research, not just trust anybody old on the YouTube like Flowspective who is downright trying to deceive you guys. Thank you guys. God bless. Cheers. Going uphill at a fairly exponential rate. So it's good stuff. Um, subscribe today to Flatsoid.